How's it going everyone? In today's video, we're going to go ahead and check out iOS 16. So today was WWDC and Apple previewed and gave a lot of information on what iOS 16 is capable of. And then we got the next generation of watchOS 9. And then we also got a glance of the next generation Apple CarPlay, things we should be expecting in the near future from automotive manufacturers, cool tools they can take advantage of. And then we also got the unveil of the next generation MacBook Air. But in today's video, I managed to get my hands on the developer beta of iOS 16, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it together, as well as cover and see what else changed in Apple CarPlay. Let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and Take a look at the control center. Control center icons are very similar. They look exactly the same like they previously were, but the thing I have noticed is the lock screen. The lock screen is really where you see the massive overhaul as we have new fonts available for the color. If you long press, this gives us the ability to edit. And then you can simply, I guess you create as many as you like. And if you click custom and add a new one, here you see a variety of different custom wallpapers that are pre-made and featured. You have this cool little globe one. This one's really interesting because this is the one that was featured on the keynote. But tap up here, you have the ability to customize different fonts. So I was trying to slide to see if there's any more. But I do like the fact you have a little color slider down here. And they have about six fonts to choose from. Maybe in the near future, they'll add more. Underneath, you have the ability to customize widgets. They have everything from like air conditioning, it looks like, calendar, Apple Watch activities. You also got the Apple stocks. I'm pretty sure in the near future, we'll start to see more widgets get added. And then when you press done, so this is the Earth's wallpaper, and this one should have a cool animation as soon as you unlock your device. Oh, and here's the activity rings. If you click on it, it has a quick shortcut. It'll quickly take you to the fitness app, which is new for the iPhone. Now you don't really need an Apple Watch to count your steps. But if we do the swipe, there's that cool globe animation. Now I was reading somewhere that Face ID was supposed to support landscape mode. Uh, let's go ahead and test this out live. So if we put our device on landscape mode, let's see if Face ID can actually unlock without rotating it. Uh, so far it doesn't seem like it's working. No, unless we rotate, yeah, there we go, it unlocks. So maybe in a new feature, maybe in future updates, this will become supported. So another new thing that was recently added is now whenever you send a message, you have the ability to unsend. So if we send this message and we just go ahead and long hold, now here it is, undo message. And it just goes away just like so, but it will notify the chat that he did indeed remove the message, just as unknown what was previously said. And if I believe so, if we actually do another message and another one, you actually long press, you have the ability to actually edit, which is right here. So yeah, you have the ability to go back and edit some of your pre message, some of those messages you have previously sent. So test iOS 15. And you, God damn it, Alex, you're gonna get me demonetized. Uh, not the test I had in mind, but uh, you're on video. <laughs> God love my friend's humor. Another thing they also added was the capability to advance click and drag. So if we actually go ahead and go on our camera roll, I'm gonna go ahead and select this goofy photo that I took of myself wearing the Master Chief helmet. I am gonna go ahead and select the share button and go ahead and select this as a wallpaper. So using AI learning, this should be able to figure out how to do the three-dimensional in-depth to overlap the clock. Okay, well, I have a problem right here. Uh, the photo is too large. So I'm clearly not gonna be able to overlap. And I don't really have another picture to demonstrate this, but Apple was previewing this and it looked really great. Unfortunately, I just don't have a picture in hand that allows me to actually test this out. Or maybe it's still not, it, there's a possibility it might just not be available as of yet because this is still in, a, in the development beta test. And then in terms of filters, looks like currently there's only these two filters available. Once more, it's just in the, it's in the beta test, so I'm pretty sure some of these features still not fully innovated just yet. But it's really user-friendly to the most part, and to my surprise, it's not buggy at all. And once more, you just long press to like customize, so here's the focus tab. So you can select each wallpaper and do different things. So if you like to categorize your focus, like one wallpaper for work, one for when you're out and about with your friends, and the other one when you're studying, you could customize your basically everything here, which is really nice. And here's where you actually enable that in depth that I was telling you about, but that's enough of this. Let's go back and reverse back to my main wallpaper. Again, you got the focus ability right here. And then to customize, just add a new one. It's not really much to customize here, but I do like their feature category uh, categories that they have available. It's very similar, it reminds me a lot like the Apple Watch in terms of its watch faces, which isn't bad. 
And uh, taking a closer look, I like the fact whenever you customize it by tapping the plus, you do have the categorization on top, like right here, because you could select more than one wallpaper to switch. So you can select people, photos, randomize, and you also got atmosphere. So right here we have the earth, we also have the moon, with that's cool animation, the solar system. Yeah, it's like the uh, app watch watch faces, which isn't bad. I'm assuming this is like your general location. And then you have quick access to the widgets here once more. And then unfortunately it's only six fonts, but maybe in the near future, we're gonna go ahead and see a lot more get added, which is quite nice. And then on top where date, you could swap this with another widget or complication you may wanna switch it with, like the weather instead of, <laughs> instead of the calendar date, which is quite nice. But yeah, I'm really surprised how smooth it's working. If we select photo, if you actually long press, it uses like AI learning to trace and outline. And this gives you the freedom to basically drop this into group chats and stuff. Now, unfortunately my chat group is really chatty right now and it's hard to like keep their privacy censored. So deal with the blur, but I'm gonna get used to note app as a fine example. You can literally click and drag photos from apps to apps and you can literally just drop it and it automatically like outlines the subject, which is quite neat. Yeah, just like that, not bad. That's a good line, a uh, good job outlining everything. After messing around with it some more, the media player also moved around. Now it's located at the bottom alongside with the uh, notifications and the notifications have this cool rotating animation as well. So that's another new update, but everything else is easy to control. I don't really have much, anything to complain about here. And before we move into Apple CarPlay, let's talk about the wallet app. The wallet app also got a new update. Now, if we tap plus up here, we have the ability to add a driver's license. Now this was added previously, but only for Arizona, but now mainland supports this. I'm just waiting for California. Now let's go ahead and quickly hop in the car and see what's new for Apple CarPlay. So here we are. Let's go ahead and give it permission to all this stuff. And here it is. So it looks 100% identical, including the same apps that I previously had previously installed. So these are the third party apps which mixed with the first parties in the settings tab. Let's go ahead and see what's new here. Did I mention I'm on a beta? <laughs> Let me go ahead and reboot this. All right, rebooting Apple CarPlay once more. It resumes back even after the crash. Driving focus looks the same. Announce message, same. Appearance, we still have always and always dark. Automatic and always dark, I mean. Uh, wallpaper, we have the same rows we previously had, nothing new here. The Siri animation, same. Okay, so everything is the same. We don't even have any new apps or anything like that. The message apps, it's 100% the same, trust me. The third-party music apps, same layout, same clean layout. Yeah, it's similar to iOS 15. So nothing really got improved or added so far maybe in the near future we'll see more updates but as of right now it's pretty much the same aside from that there you guys have it that is the first look of ios 16 the developer beta now if you're planning on also downloading this be cautious again use a backup device or or back up your data if you're using your main device because again it's on a beta expected to get buggy crash randomly time to time and etc as well as lack of support from third-party apps you may rely on. But to the most part, I mean, as you witnessed live, aside from Apple CarPlay being buggy at time, the OS itself, even on my iPhone 12 Pro, it's running, surprisingly, pretty fluently. But again, always be cautious, especially when you're downloading developer betas on your device. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. I'll be sure to cover a lot more in the near future. This just recently came out and I just recently got my hands on it. I'm downloading watchOS 9 on my backup Apple Watch right now to test out some future stuff. So if you'd like to stay tuned for those future videos, make sure you are subscribed. And aside from that, if you enjoyed, you know what to do. Greatly appreciate it if you can actually leave this video a like as well, as those help me out a lot. If you'd like to watch more, check out this video over here as I cover every hidden feature that you could do with the latest generation AirPods Pro on the latest firmware update because Apple secretly added some interesting stuff too. And then that video over there, that is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.